What's going on guys? This is Danny Summers with Intercept MMA. Thank you guys for tuning in. If you guys can, please hit like and subscribe. Also hit the notification bell. That way anytime we're putting out new videos, new content, new fight breakdowns, you guys can see it first. As Coach Danny, I'm here with Coach Anna. What we're going to be getting into now from Mismatch Elite is throwing in a step over footwork, which almost looks like I'm kind of crossing my feet, but there's an intention behind it so I can create a new angle, especially from Mismatch Elite where it makes it hard for this person to find us. So what I mean by that is if we're in Mismatch Elite, she's in right lead, I'm in left lead. Uh, we're going to go orthodox southpaw, but more importantly, this is open stance. Open stance, if she was in left lead, closed stance. So there's a lot of things that change once we go mismatch lead. So when she's in southpaw position, I'm looking to kind of hit this step over. And again, I'm trying to hit this angle almost like I'm trying to get to her back. That's the angle I'm trying to create. I almost get behind her and force her to make a big movement so I can find a new angle. So what I'm going to look to do is step in with my jab, put my jab out there for her to defend, and then I'm going right into this footwork. Now, just doing the footwork by itself without the hands. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to push off my back foot, I'm going to step in. Once I step in and I bring my weight to my lead leg to throw my jab, my rear foot is going to step behind me. As I step with my rear foot, I bring my head with me. And once I bring my head with me, now it takes the weight off my lead foot so I can step with my lead foot. And again, get this angle where almost, I'm almost trying to travel to her back because I know and she knows she wants to turn and face me. And as she does, I'm just going to continue to keep that angle so I can follow up. So if we're in left, or she's, she's, in orth, uh, she's in southpaw, I'm in left lead. When I throw this jab out there, boom, and I see her react and go to throw that check hook, now I hit that angle with that step over. And the good thing about it too is if she is throwing this lead hook, she's going to naturally have to kind of plant herself there for a second, make it a little bit easier for me to cut that angle. So again, if I'm in my left lead, I'm going to step in with the jab, hit my step over, add that 3-2. Throwing the hook is just going to help to guide myself to line up that cross. Now does it have to be a cross? Not at all. I could always go jab, step over, and then just bring that rear kick upstairs too. So it just depends on the distance that we're at. But more importantly is the angle. I'm not staying here, right? I'm not going, which again, isn't bad. I made her miss, I made her pay, but the feet are pretty much neutral. I want to get an angle. So if I throw my jab, now this angle that we're at, now she has to adjust. Now I can start finding my follow shots from there. So again, rep this footwork first, feel that weight distribution from lead foot to rear foot and vice versa then worry about putting into a drill. Now, can we do it from close stance? Yes. Most of the time, it's gonna be trying to get away from the cross. Meaning if I step in with my jab and she pairs with that rear hand and she likes to come back with the cross right away, after I step in, again, just kind of taking my head out of that position and once I do, creating the angle where I can start to follow up. So you can do it in mismatch, uh, mismatch lead, same lead, close stance, open stance, however you wanna call it. But the main thing is the head position is gonna be the weight distribution. That way I can actually move my feet. If I just keep my head forward or just backwards, it's very hard for me to go in and out and cut those angles. Give it a try.